Hello everyone. Today I will talk about ICH guideline Q12 product life cycle management. In this part one video, I will talk about purpose, scope and regulatory tools of product life cycle management. Purpose of product life cycle management. Management of post approval CMC that is targeting commercial phase. Efficient management of commercial product variation is managed by CMC assessment throughout product life cycle. A harmonized approach benefits patient, pharmaceutical sector, and regulatory authorities. A harmonized approach regarding technical and regulatory consideration for life cycle management will benefit patient, pharmaceutical sector, and regulatory authorities. A harmonized approach is promoting innovation, continual improvement in the pharmaceutical sector, strengthening quality assurance and improving the supply of medicinal product. A scientific and risk-based approach for use in drug development and regulatory decision. ICH guideline Q8 pharmaceutical development, Q9 quality risk management, Q10 pharmaceutical quality system, Q11 development and manufacturing of drug substance. This supports science and risk-based approaches. ICH Q8 and Q11 guidelines focus on early stage strategy of product life cycle. ICH Q12 addresses the commercial phase of the product life cycle. And it both provides flexible regulatory approach to post approval CMC changes. Benefits of product life cycle management. Increased product and process knowledge can contribute to a precise, accurate understanding of which post approval changes are required a regulatory submission and the definition of the level of reporting categories. Increase in product knowledge can decrease the post approval submission to the marketing authorization application and resulting in least product life cycle uh, associated regulatory burden. Pharmaceutical quality system can incentivize continual improvement by providing an opportunity for greater fle flexibility in making post approval changes. Operational and regulatory flexibility and its adequate implementation is subject to the regulatory framework in place product and process understanding as described in ICH Q8 and Q11, application of quality risk management principle as per ICH Q9, and effective pharmaceutical quality system as per ICH Q10. Regulatory members of ICH are encouraged to provide publicly available information. This can be preferably on their, reg and on their respective website about the implementation of ICH Q12 in their region, especially with regard to regulatory consideration. Scope of ICH Q12 are pharmaceutical drug substance and product, including both chemical and biological products that require a marketing authorization. Drug device combination products that meet the definition of pharmaceutical or biological product. The out of scope of ICH Q12 is changes needed to comply with new or revised pharmacopoeial monograph are not within the scope of this guideline. Regulatory tools. Regulatory tools enhance the management of post approval changes and transparency between industry and regulatory authorities, supporting innovation and continual improvement. This regulatory Regulatory tools are categorization of post approval CMC changes. The marketing authorization holder may propose reporting categories for changes to established conditions are based on risk and knowledge gained through enhanced pharmaceutical development. Established conditions. It provides element of pharmaceutical development activities and appropriate control strategies. Post approval change management protocol. It is a system with risk based reporting categories that provide predictability regarding 
planning for future established conditions changes. Product life cycle management document. It is a summary provides by marketing authorization holder with description of management of post approval CMC changes that transparently conveys to the respective regulatory authorities. Pharmaceutical quality system and change management. All CMC changes to an approved product are managed by site pharmaceutical quality management system. Relationship between regulatory assessment and inspection. A good collaboration, efficient communication between regulatory assessor and inspector are necessary, necessary for implementation of ICH Q12. Structured approach for frequent CMC post approval changes. To enable the implementation of certain CMC changes for authorized product without the need for prior regulatory review and approval. And the last is stability data approaches to support the evaluation of CMC changes. The stability study is undertaken to confirm previously approved storage condition and the shelf life of the approved product. Each regulatory tools will be discussed further in following videos. Thank you for watching.